All right, I'm hoping this will not be too much of a ramble, but um, I'm just going with it. So I'm using the uh, camcorder or this angle right now to kind of, I, I did kind of want to show the overhead, but um, I also wanted to show you guys um, essentially what um, I'm, pro yeah, it's, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit shorter than my eyeballs, but not that, uh, not by that much. Um, sorry, I've been giving uh, Leo's like super duper love cuddles the past few days and um, yeah, I've finally clued in that um, like I'm probably mildly allergic to cats or whatever. But he's also been hanging out in the basement and it's like musty as well. So it's like a combination of that and whatever. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Sorry, I'll try to do my best. Um, so why am I using this angle? Probably because I want to try to hope, I'm hoping to stay at this angle for a very long time. Um, obviously I'm going to be moving around, not like I'm not going to be, you know, be stuck with the camcorder, but um, I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, look, I've been having an absolute blast and I've almost felt like I've been almost, uh, and it's not the case, trust me, uh, or maybe it is, and I just haven't seen it, uh, blind bias or whatever the heck it's called, because um, uh, I do love uh, Braevich, oh gosh, I love him, um, but it's not that, it's not because I'm like uh, pro-central powers and thinking about it, it's been fun, uh, but I'll be honest with you, um, if you look at my history of playing World War One game, I've never played a Western Front game, man. Um, it's been uh, the Entente. I've been the Russians, like, big time. And, um, oops, sorry, i got to worry about the plants. I also have to learn about all this new um, stuff, and I have to start stop staring at that thing, because now I can just stare at what I really want to look at. Um, yeah, so last night I listened to some, uh, after um, participating, I guess, because I was doing a fair amount of commenting, but uh, uh, the Not Jay um, Saturday Night um, Not Jay War Game, I'm not sure if that's called, but anyways, I'm so bad at this, sorry. But um, look, if you don't know who the heck uh, Not Jay is by now, you like, well, geez, you're missing out is what I'm saying. I think you should go and take a look. Um, Saturday night. Anyways, like I said, this is a ramble. I'm going off into Wonderland, and I there's a part of my brain that is rebelling like a spoiled little brat. It knows full well I should be going to sleep, and I don't want to, because I know what that means. I'm, uh, I'm getting closer to that other spot, which I don't want to go to. I don't want to stay in, you know, in this world. Anyways, um, after that, I listened to some Rage Against the Machine, not because um, I think... Uh, Russian morale is there or whatever it's because there's a you know a German machine coming towards them and I was like F off man it's not gonna happen um, in a you know like I'm not saying on the troop level that's gonna happen I'm sure they're like oh god let's just get the hell out of here uh, I also did find out actually Yuri Danilov uh, I don't know about Plan 19, like I know of it, but I don't know uh, any of the specifics, I think. Like I don't know if that was actually implemented or whatnot. It, it sounds to me like it was the Russian version of the Schlieffen plan of like what to do if, you know, in the event of war or something. Uh, I do know from the limited bits I, from what I've been reading on Yuri Danilov, he was really pro um, uh, go after East Prussia, which is really cool, and also that he was, he had a lot to do with the uh, uh, offensive stuff that was going on at this point, but I think he got fired when, um, historically, uh, uh, the Tsar there, Nicholas, um, took over everything after the, um, the Gerlitza, the Great Retreat, let's call it what it is. Anyways, what is happening here in a weird, well, if I let it happen, which it's going to happen in some places, I can tell you that one. Not here. I can tell you that much. And there's a little, little spot I just... Oh, if it wasn't for this effing terrain. Because um, it's like, you know, let's be honest. The Germans left the cupboard spare. Uh, because they're pumping out Fistung divisions like they're going out of, you know, going out of uh, style. Um, uh, um, 
So anyways, yeah, it just got me into that realm of uh, it, uh, don't despair. And, and let's be honest, it's turn four. So four, five, six, seven. Like four turns to withstand. <laughs> do you honestly think, I don't know if you can see that over here. No, I think you can. Um, do you honestly think the Germans are going to be able to take out all these, all of them in four turns? Come on. And the way I'm playing this is by the end of Jan uh, end of November, remember I'm playing it, this is just the way it goes, sorry, uh, is I'm doing some kind of wacky thing, I'm calling it the um, uh, the December Truce, where I'm going to like sit back and take a look at stuff, and, and, and also the big adjustment, another thing that I called, where I'm going to take a look at the Grand Campaign uh, stuff, strength point wise, and what, uh, that whole nine yards, and try to integrate it with this and make kind of makes some sense. Plus it'll also give, give me some time to uh, read up on some uh, whatnots. And man, there's narrative popping up like there's no flip, flipping tomorrow. Um, I told um, Zoe and Stefan, I, I, I said, I'm not kidding you, man. If somebody wanted to spend, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but if somebody wanted to actually uh, sit down and chit-chat about this, I could talk your flipping ear off for a weekend. Nope problem it's there's just so many freaking micro little whatever's going on uh on a side note i just found out um today that um these things called well uh the great channel used the term um micro battles like you know even though you think that you know it's quiet and i've known that too if you think there's like spots being quiet and there's still stuff going on it was more ironically from reading the chronology about the Western Front that there's all these little things going on. But there's these things called mine craters, which were, I guess, uh, actually created by the freaking enemy or whatever. And they're fighting over things that they've created themselves, but are now defensible. I was just like, this is just just crazy sci-fi bizarre, but it, it, it it's reality. It was just like, whoa. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just like, wow, there's so much more to, it just blows me away. Anyways, what I'm saying back to here with the Russians, um, what the heck, I have no, look, we're miles away from trying me, for me to figure out what the heck's going on here. Um, but I'm going to, oh, Jesus, I wanted to start, uh, actually this video this way and it just clued in because I'm listening to it. I'm listening to, uh, at the moment, um, uh, EM, um, uh, recordings of uh, Neptune is Poseidon. I don't know why, but that word, I'm sorry if I'm going, well, why, but whatever, it's just, hey man, it's who I am. Um, that flippin' word, Poseidon, the person, the term, God, whatever, I would say I've heard that without me saying it. Um, probably it's come up at least 10 times this week. So I don't know what the heck is going on with Poseidon, but there's something going on with Poseidon. That's why I popped on some uh, EM recordings of Neptune. Uh, what else can I tell you? Whew. I wish I could do something here. I can't. I like not even staring at the numbers yet and just looking back. And you know another nice, cool thing I like about looking at it from this angle? Hold on here. I'm going to try to... Is look what I've... You know, I don't get to see this because I'm, I'm always looking at it from the other... And I'm sure I'm going to do it from habit. It's so easy to be on that side. Because I'm really close to the plants, man. It's nuts. But look. Look what I get to look to if I'm a little bit bored. My freaking other front that I want to work on, man. It's right there in front of my flipping face. Talk about sweet. Anyways, let's get back to here. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yep. Um, I'm just going to say, yeah, I, yet again, I'm just having a flip them uh, like this table. Oh, oh, I did want to show you. Like I said, it's side uh, rant. Yes, look at this. Um, so this is a um, model that I glued. It's a practice one in the sense that it uh, was extremely affordable. I'm learning tons of things that I'm not very good at this, and it's going to be a learning curve. Like, take a look how crooked he is. I don't know if you can see that, but... <laughs> oh, it's fun as hell. Um uh, I've still got, I've done two coats of uh, airbrush uh, primer with a hand brush and um, still have to do a second coat on the, uh, hold on here, bottom wing, that's right, I've done two coats here and then once I've done a second coat here, while it dries, I'll, you know, grab it here and dingle dink you get the idea, but um, it's a practice thing, I don't know if um, I'm going to do this forever, but... Uh, 
it's been it's been interesting and it keeps me yet again always in that cycle of am I thinking about oh, oh my god on a side note um, I practiced it yesterday and it worked extremely well but mind you this was in a low population density I read while I went to the shops so uh, like uh, you know as I walked back and forth I, I read a book uh, well not an entire book obviously but I was reading a book I was like yes like time efficiency thank you F uh, that's it I uh, hope you guys are doing um, yeah, I'm not going to get into heavy-duty philosophical crap, crap. Um, but let's be honest, man, this is it, eh? Like, I mean, not this, but I mean, this is it. Like, uh, we're, you know, we're alive, man. We are alive. So let's do it. Okay, hope you're having a great time. See ya.